people. <clears throat> I guess I was gonna start at 8:10. I don't know. It's 7:50. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh, sorry. I was trying not to curse today too. But I dropped my lighter, but it's over there. This is volcanic rock, you know. This is where we are. It's, we're right here on the sea. Right on volcanic rock, yes. Um, let me get my light. Oh! Set this. Oh, wait. This is, um... Oh, sh sh come on. Relax. Alright, hold on. I didn't mean to do this like that. It's, okay, it's 7.52 now. It's uh, May 8th. This is Western Jamaica, Eastern Standard Time. The track in Amenibru. Okay, he's there due west. I'm going to zoom in for a second. Oh, that's him zoomed in. I don't know if you can see some light on the water here, but I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out now and set the... Oh, come on. Come on, please. Let me try and set this. I'm going to have to move it, I guess, when it gets to the bottom. Because it's early. But let me... Oh! Where are we? He's right on the top left. I can see him. Did I zoom out? I zoomed out, right? I zoom out. Mm. All right. It's um 7:54 now. I want that show. Get your watch. This is, um, Venus is not Venus, sure. Welcome to His Imperial Majesty, Ali Selassie the First, Jaha Rastafari, Negus Negus. You know, on my YouTube channel, I say, exercising, XOR, that's X-O-R, that's a secret code, you know, exorcising hidden controllers, so you have to expect you're on a level now where dealing with a lot of demons and stuff, so there's a lot of cursing goes on, that's just the way it is with with us in this position right now. I'm not trying to make an excuse, but I do say exercise, and that's like exorcist. Okay? This is XOR level. The XOR level, you're on a higher level. Let's not get into be careful when I use words, you understand. You understand fuzzy logic and these words are just pointers. We're being poetic when we talk. So, what was it saying? Oh, exercising. 
or the levels of exercising. And how you use Zen techniques to exercise your own mind. When you exercise your own mind, then you free up Jesus. You free Jesus. You free the Holy Spirit. You operate on natural guidance. You're a mystic. You're on the mystic level. You don't need a book for instructions. These things are all written inside you on your soul and your mind and your heart. So you clear the mind. The mind just causes all the confusion in us. That's why Adam and Eve are the thing is they ate the apple. They ate. We as human beings, we think too much in our maturity as a species and we got ourselves in trouble. Think too much. Like men used to make peace, they would sit around a table and smoke a peace pipe. Make peace and reason. This bureaucracy system of democracy doesn't know how to make peace and how to make war. Listen. Who are these people that make these war things? Those are the people, man, that make warships. These shipbuilders. Mm. Oh. <coughs> 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 Anybody have a pillow? Anyone have a pillow or a dead cat I can use? Rest my head on. <laughs> Two dead cats even to where my head feel right now. <coughs> The other day I was in the chat room and the people were talking about being a Christian and they feel bad to say they're a Christian or whatever. And I told them, I just typed in Christ Zen, like Christ Zen, Z-E-N. And the woman types back, oh I like that, and she types back. No, I can't. I can't. Um, what is it? Oh, she types back Chris Zen, but she makes the Z, the Z, the capital Z, like Christ Zen. And I type back to her. Don't make Zen too big. Zen is like the marker you use to take out another marker. After you use it, you throw it away. Kinda, you understand what I'm saying? This is all like cone talk, cones, K-O-A-N, you know about the cone? Zen cones, are like, you can look at them like parking cones, like when you're learning to park in the street and you put up cones or whatever, you ever do that, to try and park between those orange cones. They don't really point at a thing, they don't really tell you a thing, they push you into the space in between. Zen talk tries to push you and bump you and point you. 
Okay, there's more truth in pointing and in feeling. They, they say the, in Zen you say the hungry eat in tired sleep. Whatever. So it's to really unlearn things in your mind. Get things out of your mind. So it teaches you techniques. So you in yourself... You, Alright, listen to me now. This is military. So you in yourself can set thought against thought. When you can do those things, it's good because you need to set up military defenses in your mind. You need to set up a waiting room for thought. Like when someone asks you a question, you know, a question can be like a rape. Someone just asks you a question and it comes into you and you don't have any choice about it. And it can give you a bad thought and all these things, man. Question. Who? Oh. Father. Is it you who invent this language in question? Oh. Must get myself in trouble with all these questions, huh? What, um, what was I saying? The question, the thought. Oh, so with Zen techniques and things, you're going to learn over control of your mind and the devil is in your mind and those things. And you're going to set up different Zen controls that's going to counterbalance them things. And then you're going to take it down. And then you'll be free and you can just be free then, whoever you are. Get rid of Zen, get rid of the matrix out of your mind. But you use Zen tools and techniques so you know how to identify certain type of signature from thoughts or sounds. Okay, you understand sacred gematria and you also understand the, the, that level on the sound side. I don't know what you call it, but there's all these things like you you don't think too fast that's where they get you after like it's always good to take a breath before you do anything sometimes because we're in this zone if you ask someone a question and they don't answer you within like seven seconds you think fucking idiot the fuck's the matter with you you not hear me your, your ears hard So, you have to take more time to get control of your mind back, and then you can get your mind back, and then you can be holy like, you're just holy all the time, it's not Saturday or Sunday or, so, you're just free in the state of grace. As a child of the Almighty, as a saint, as a sinner too, you know. That is why His Majesty told us we need the Christian spirit to guide us through this way. Because it's not like we're going to be perfect or anything. We're always going to be human and go back and we use each other to balance each other, to code us, to comfort us. You know, sometimes we get in a fight. And that's why we shouldn't have weapons, because we get into fights and things. Who made these big weapons? I'm, let me tell you something. I know myself, if I had them, I would have blown up some yards for sure. Even some little pieces of some times, in, if I had them in my time, man. I can remember, even though I, I don't even like to say the word hate, but how I used to feel, whatever. I used to even think I wish I could call up George Bush and call in one of those strikes. But they shouldn't make that stuff. That's it. They just shouldn't make it. Make good things for people. This is all... And there's so much resources. So there's no reason for this capitalist system to allocate resources. We can do so much. We're so great and everything.
So like, if you want to advance yourself in wherever you are, whatever type of field or adventure, the fuck for Canoes out here? Is that one fucking postcard or something? Oh. That must be the Coast Guard. Or the drugs boat. Same thing, huh? Fuck. You, you want me to say something? Okay, I'll say something. Do you know what, um, Manic and Coke and Golden and Duddis and everything was about? Hmm? Coast Guard out so you can figure it out. Um, I can't show you the Coast Guard because if I move the camera, I'll mess up the, th I'll mess up the track and I'm not going to do that. I, should, I have to be careful not to hit that wire too. So you have whatever. Mm. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, that was a crazy day, huh? I guess it's good though. I felt good, but I told people someone would come for me by now. Did I get some signs and codes, so I guess I hope it's okay. I get enough things, but you know, I, people, let me tell you something. I get fooled all the time, and I've been fooled by all these things. So when I curse out everything. I've been fooled over years ago, and even all the time I get fooled. Even by all them people, David Icke and Alex Jones. I was fooled by them up to like... I didn't really know all of them, whatever, but it was like five months ago, or four months ago, or... Even, I don't know, three months. It took a while to break the code on Alex Jones. He's under some high mind control. Yeah, if you listen to the, him, these people, what they do is, they won't believe in something even, but they will say it in a negative fashion, but still they're painting the picture in your mind. So like with Alex Jones, he always talks about shooting police. Like, don't shoot police, or I don't do this, he says in a negative way. Oh, it's too bad I can't lower the camera and you see the shit. But, the, um... So we all get fooled, like, okay, you see like a monk, you know why a monk has to like stay by himself? Because a monk is a man, and a man is the easiest person to fool. Just ask any woman, and I will, will prove it. Men are fools, men don't know how, look, you go driving down the street, you go walking anywhere, you go driving anywhere, and a woman comes into your per se, your field of view. She can even be one or two or three chain away. But from you pick up her shape, 
You hit. Oh, forget it. You see the shape? Yeah. These are the things they called you the shape and the sacred gematria. These things are the shape of a woman. Forget it. You want me to start to say you're a fucking idiot? They call it Vesica Pisces. And that's just really like... They use that shape all around. It's, it's in like the Olympic symbols. When you get those two circles intersecting in the Olympic rings. When the rings... Like if you were praying and you put your hands together with a little space in between it. Okay, that's like the shape down at the pum pum. And the shape of the body differently. But that's called the Vesica Pisces. And men, you have nothing to say. Men cannot say anything. Okay? You have no mind, man. Just take it from me. Your mind is not your own. The ship is like right under him now. I guess you're not seeing it. Um, oh, the Vesica Pisces. So this is like how you code your mind. Look. When I drive in the car and we're driving down the road to Negril or going out shopping and I'm with my bread in or somewhere and I explain it to him and you see, you're not even thinking but so, you're driving, right? And you're passing yard and some girl is like way up in the yard like behind some things like over there by the, putting some wash on the line wearing some tree and all these things and she's like a few chain away and all these things and your eye just pick her up to shape there. Yeah. Tell me about it. You know what's going on? You know nothing, men. People know nothing. That's the shape of a woman. Then a man can think, oh, he's all this and that. And then a woman puts two things on it. And it, within 10 seconds or 20 seconds, woman crumble, man. Crumble. So anyways, then they have man and woman fighting against each other. This is all fucked up. It's too much code. And listen, sleep is a code also. Don't tell me nothing about sleep. You go on all these times and you're not even really tired sometimes. But the sleep come on you and then your head just drop and everybody goes to sleep and nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Get the fuck. People don't know anything. Sleep is cold. How can all these people go around and all of a sudden, but, just like that, but, <laughs> they would just drop, but, <laughs> and it's not like, sometimes it's not like you do anything or you're like your body's so tight or anything, but, that's not cold? You're under cold, you're like nothing. hear the engine of that boat? I should curse him out, huh? It's low. Give me some of the... Give me some of the stuff, man. This one's for you. Don't move the camera. It's a dangerous thing, huh? Oh. I didn't move the camera. I hope to let that. He looks like he's moving kind of slow, huh? This is early. And the other tapes we started. I guess he moves faster when he's up on the top there coming down into the turn. Like from 7.30 he comes down fast. I think I did on some earlier ones. I did an earlier tracking over on This Is Not Anonymous. There's a playlist. But fuck it.
<clears throat> I got set up by some of them internet trolls back then. You know how much time I got fooled on the internet in the past couple of months? Right now I know some people is listening to this and they were set up to trap me and, and code me and right now they they have to have different thoughts in their life. Because this little pixel on your screen right there, that's a deadly little pixel. Yeah. It's like, it's like whatever. <clears throat> oh. So I see some young people on the internet going on YouTube and I see them Go and chew things. And you know, most things you learn in life and you go through things and most things you, you really don't get the right teaching so you're going to get fucked up and it takes you a long time and yes, you can get through and get your bruises but it's good to get good guidance. Okay, so here's some high thing. This is basic. Here's like basic, 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 basic. Number one, mind the sacred ground. I forgot number two now. What the fuck is number two? What's important? What was I talking about? The mind. Oh fuck. What is it saying? Something basic about what? The mind. Oh! What you have to protect. You have to protect mind, the sacred ground. What is the, the battle, the paradigm that you're facing here is control versus guidance. The paradigm that you're facing here that you have to re-engineer, that you have to be the overseer and over-construct and reconstruct and deconstruct not only is control versus guidance but the hierarchy the hierarchy organism versus the peer-to-peer -peer organism okay like the hierarchy structure is the big boss and then you have the little, the middle bosses and everyone's like this boss and manager and they're all having meetings and making up things and nobody plant the corn. Well, not any of them plant the corn. So that's the hierarchy, that, that hierarchy top-down structure. The peer-to-peer -peer is, is the community, social, e more e e uh, like cellular organization, tribal, like in computers the peer-to-peer -peer thing is is like Napster and Morpheus and file sharing. All that file sharing thing is like all different computers talking to each other really. You know there are some central intelligence points pass around but the whole thing about music download, that, that conflict of music download in mp3 is really so emblematic and symptomatic of what's happening like with the Sony and music copywriting and people having free knowledge and people just being free and knowledge is free. They make, look, they, they took the earth and they put lines on the earth and nations and they said, this is mine and this is yours. And ideas are free in space. 
And now they want to put a law and capture the Holy Spirit, you know. They deny it and blaspheme the Holy Spirit. And now they're trying to capture the Holy Spirit. And let me tell you, they have no fucking chance right now. They have no fucking chance right now. The Holy Spirit has been captive for 2,000 years under all this book business and building business. Books, buildings, and ballots. Burned them. Wonder if I, you know, I have some books I can burn. I, One thirty-two minutes. We're up to Freemason degrees. Look at me. He's just coming down the left side. True. <clears throat> Got a little lightning coming through. I don't know. Well, I can tell you another thing, people. You see, we're looking west here. I've seen lots of things out here studying I'm in Nebru the past few months. <clears throat> First of all, up to the right of where we're looking, like, um, what am I talking about? North, west, like towards the Caymans. There's some, okay, out there is the deepest part of the Atlantic, you know. You're not here about UFOs in the water and these guys going down in submarines to the deep parts. You never know why Guantanamo Bay is over there, huh? There's a secret base out there in the water. I've seen enough. You, yeah, I don't, crazy fucking activity. I've seen crazy things coming out of that direction, man. I've seen crazy things. Really crazy things. Like when I first started to see things, they would do crazy things to me. And there's a, I have witnesses and different things that they would send us to like, fuck us up, man. Like all those, I don't know if them fake planes or hologram things or real ones and all type of crazy shit. But, you know, they can't code me. So they would try it and they would try the next thing and then they have to fuck off and stuff. And there's different people who saw different things on this thing. This is not just me who can tell you some crazy things that got on in the sky. Try and get you there. Commit some terrible crimes sometimes with your mind control. To yourself or to others. And you must listen to Jimmy Cliff. I can see clearly now live. Make sure you search for their live one. And he does a little preaching in the middle there. It's lovely. And we'll look at his eyes. You can see he's, he's done some high eye graze. And he's high with his eyes. You see his eyes. His new heights I can see. I sat to next to him one time like 20 years ago. It must have been on a little plane from Obey to Kingston. Like I was like a young white boy and he had his little Muslim hat on and, and sat down next to me, he must say, sitting next to the white devil. And he opened up his Quran and to tell you the truth, I, 
I don't know who or whatever. But we were just we just sat there, I didn't talk to him whenever I kinda knew who he was, so I think. And just gave him his respect, you know. He, I, didn't, I didn't have nothing to say to him as a young boy there or whatever. But he was you could tell he was very high. Different from knowing him as an artist or entertainer, which was one thing, but the heights of his presence. Presence is a good thing. Presence. They fool you on words. You know how they spell presence two different ways. It's what is some of these young people, it's good for them on the YouTube if they don't. Oh, that's right. These young people on the YouTube getting fooled by some of these things. It's okay to go through some of the things, but you have to step up, wake up, and get higher, and come to your own reality, which is um, more truthful, where you get your knowledge. Like, okay. Sometimes I say a lot of things differently, whatever, but I can say to anyone differently. You understand when I say things, I'm saying things whatever mostly in parable, but I can say I speak truthfully and I'm not afraid to die because of it. I can say that comfortably. Okay? If I talk in heights, sometimes hide something, but I don't have some type of I don't know. I'm not saying all of it is untrue or not untrue or whatever, but there's more falsity of some things where you see, especially if you see a regular pattern around the presentation, okay? of some certain heights. You can have a regular pattern of meditations and certain things, but if you have a regular pattern and there's money collecting around it, <coughs> I don't understand that. To do certain heights, you can't have money involved in, near you, whatever. Have someone else do something, collect it, whatever, differently, but I don't even want to talk anymore about that, but a lot of young people go to your things but keep going through your things and don't be afraid to fall down. Here's one thing a lot of you young people. You never really go to competition and get bumped and knocked over and hurt and get up again and go again. And know how to flex in life. You need to know how to flex in life now to, to get out of your everybody. You need to know how to flex and do what you have to do. But you, know, you need to know how to flex that is moving with the spirit, you know. And know that people is your brother and people make mistakes. And don't fight with your Cain and Abel brother. If you have to take down someone, take them down. Do what you have to do. But don't get trapped in stupid little arguments. Make sure you're working when you're doing your light work and you're doing your high warrior business. And you're doing job works. That you're going up to the level of the puppets and the puppet masters. They will have us misdirected upon ourselves, you know. And someone with a hungry belly. Don't get misdirected upon someone who has a hungry belly. Or someone who's trying to tell you something. And it's hard to tell you because this world is fucked up right now. So they have to yell at you. So you need to toughen yourselves, toughen yourselves, train yourselves, and just, let me tell you young people, follow King Selassie, I, follow his majesty, he's a Christian who loved the Christian mystic, it's a Christian mystic, become a Christian mystic, okay, become a Christian mystic. I'm a Christian mystic. Mm. 
There's no higher order. Okay. This is the royal order. So that's for all my galactic friends and my starseed friends and all your different monikers. But it's nice to see some of you awakening. It is a bit encouraging. But you know, waking up people, and some, you know, some waking up, you know what it's like to wake up a giant? Oh, where's the book for that? Let me tell you, I don't want to talk about books. I, oh, don't talk. Wish I had a radio or some music down here. I would tell you, Radio IREFM is my soul food. Yes. My soul family and my soul food. Music. Now, when I listen to music and someone's playing it live on the radio, oh, my father. That's like in the playground. At That's like... You know, like you, you, when you take your little kids to McDonald's or KFC where they have them fake playgrounds with all them balls and the kids go in and they're playing like this Wonderland? That's what it is like when there's a vibe on music and, and it's in the earth and someone's... <laughs> uh, it's like... You see, everything is real, and electricity, we're more electricity, right? So, you're playing music, and it's going into the world all over on so much levels. Oh, my God. First, it's in the air, it's everywhere, and all these frequency. That's one thing. But you see where we are today. Okay. You get mirror... Is it, was this still working? What happened? That chimney's getting dull, huh? You can still see him though, huh? It looks slow. What if I should have zoomed in? I never know really to how to full frame it. I would like to just full frame and leave it, but what time is it? It's up to forty three minutes. What was I talking about? I was saying something. Um, I think it's getting more. 43 minutes? This is going to be done soon. What time is it? Is this what I like to fucking talk for a fucking hour? This is 8.35. Oh, we started early. Huh? I was trying to tell you something, I forgot what it was. Was it to you young kids? You galactics? You galactics who have been exploited? This is how they exploit a lot of people, okay? Because they know how to identify emotional weakness, which is natural, and there's also what you can call unnatural emotional weaknesses, which happen to people because of external or cultural or historical um, coding. Creates this emotional weakness. And Freemasons like to go into that emotional weakness and infect it somehow with a spell which is going to create some type of an organization or a thought against thought where it, it goes into... You see, uh, there's something... That they're afraid of some type of energy of us. 
the activist energy, these things that make us like they're coding on the young students and the school students so much who are giving them more. Let me tell you, this thing about students coming out of school and having student loans, this is people. I wonder if the President Obama if the Holy Spirit is touching these leaders now. I almost got a feeling the Holy Spirit was touching them. I got a feeling the Holy Spirit is touching them. I got a feeling they are changing. I have a feeling that we are changing. I have a good feeling to tell you the truth. Yeah. I have a good feeling to tell you the truth. Is this dad still there? I think I see... He's just there, huh? Yeah, I see him now. I guess there's a little... He's getting low into the clouds. He get a little foggy. He hardly moved at all on this... This is what? Uh, this is... This is 8.38. Eight thirty eight up to forty seven minutes. I've been zoomed down, he hardly moved at all. But I'm looking on the screen, I don't know what I'm looking at anymore with these things to tell you the truth. I know what I'm not looking at though, I'm not looking at Venus. But all the different pieces of moving and not moving, when I zoom in and zoom out, it's screwing me up now and I'm trying to remember which part. I hope someone is studying this who knows it's going to take some notice of this. I hope I'm a neighbor who touches people differently, of course, of this maybe. I do believe that. <coughs> Oh, Jesus. 840. Mm -mm. Mm. Almost lost it to the sea that time. <clears throat> what am I going to do now? I could put in another memory chip if I stop this, but I don't know what's happening. I guess he's supposed to start to turn now and go into the horizon. Wow, the coffee called. Mm. <clears throat> when did this thing start? Let me see, this is... Up to 50 minutes. 
and it's 8.42, so there's another 10 minutes left on there. So this is going to go to 8.52. I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore. I don't really know what to. They have a word that the Nazis invented in the 1930s with, when they introduced fakeness into our life called surreal. You know, the Nazis introduced like science fiction in these categories and like the comics. You know, the comics and cartoons, there's some satanic Nazi thing. If you want to study some things, there's King Gillette, who don't believe when they say he went crazy or broke or whatever, King Gillette. He wrote this book about, in the 1900s, he was Gillette Razorblade. And Gillette speed and everything, and um, he believed that you should have one company that rules the world. And he wrote a book. It was like the New World Order book. He wrote it like 1896 or something. And I guess like he he be, he became like really rich and everything. And he had all the contracts in World War Two. <clears throat> Those boys are the warmonger things. So they, he w was in an America, and they came, so the Nazis came to America before World War II, or the Nazi Freemasons, wherever, I don't know how it's worked, but King Gillette, in that book, and then they say he went crazy, or this or that, but he really went underground. These people, when they find their top, si their, their thing, and discover the power, they like disappear, or code off, and they d go underground, different, or in the sea, or something. <clears throat> become vampires and it, you can tell some of them if they're like these old vampires because their ears are way too big some of these like Russian or you see some of these East European guys with them cock up eyebrow or their big ear some type of vampire <clears throat> People call them reptile and vampire. I'm bored reptile too, I don't know. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> I don't fucking know anything, I'm tired of it too. But it's alright, but I'm glad, let me tell you, I'm glad when this is over. Fuck. <clears throat> I'd rather just have my kids back and I don't like chicken, but I would eat, even eat chicken again just to sit around and barbecue two pieces of chicken. Yeah, whatever. To this fucking alien reality. <clears throat> Where is my secretary? Where is my secretary? I kind of remember learning that I learned from seeing some things like younger in business that if you're going to be great in business, you need a good secretary. It's a team thing. And then like... They coded off secretaries like in the 70s or something like they tried to code them off to secretary pools and different things like they didn't want men to be so powerful you get so powerful when you have a good team you know.
in business, even in little business like down here in Jamaica, differently with your little, if you have a woman who's like good, you know, at things like books and running things and protecting your, like protecting your assets. Then the man can have a different meditation, but if you don't have that protection, that other energy and everything, whatever. Where are we, little dot? Little dot, I wonder if there's some people that are bothered by you. Such a little dot. Such a little dot, but. So look how little you're getting. You can still see me, little dot. Little dot. Some people are so upset at you right now, I think, little dot. Oh, little dot. So dot, you fading away. Now I'm going to zoom in for the last two minutes. Oh, hold on. I'm trying not to move. Oh. Mm. Oh, shit. This thing want to get away. All right. It's um, 8.48. I'm going to zoom in. Try not to move the camera too much. Mm. Oh, great. I'm gonna have to move the camera, I guess. We zoomed in. We had 57 minutes. Got about three more minutes on this card. Going down, huh? Eight fifty one. So the ship has turned, you see the red glow. But it's still brightness, like I see <clears throat> brightness underwater. Oh, I should have focused more down, huh? You could have seen the water, maybe. Or... Imagine if I cut the fart now. Hmm? Hmm? <clears throat> Imagine if I cut the fart now, and it gets recorded, and then you listen to it, right? And then you hear it, so now it's in your mind. Now my, f do you know what a fart is? Listen, when you smell a fart, what do you think you're doing? You're smelling magic? 
a little piece of doodle. Come to. Oh. You better watch out the next time you smell a fart. It's not magic. Okay? I'm not going to tell you any more about it. This tape is finished. This is finished. Because <laughs> I got to cut the one. Nah, this tape have to finish. This tape have to finish. Because I got to cut one something. I don't know what you call it in your lands or whatever. Okay? But this tape have to finish. 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 Come on, you're supposed to finish by now. What's the matter with you? Finish. What's with this tape? This is keep on going? This is Gargot? I wish I put it lower, there's some guy in a canoe with a fishing light coming out you would have seen. I don't know how long this is supposed to run for. I thought it was going to run out. We're at over an hour now. I always wonder about this guy coming out in the canoe, you know, it's like, it's always parked right in my meditation too. Park. I'm a fucking idiot too. He's all fucking idiots, it's alright. It's okay to be... It's okay to be B-E. It's okay to be E. You know, I used to call my little brother B, and then I don't know what happened to that name. It's like the devil take my little brother and turn him into a Judas. So I really have to say, I was a little firefly. I go by the screen. Now the canoe guy is passing under, but I think it's right out of the frame. If you see it's a light on the Amin Nebu, it's one fisherman paddling, but I don't think it comes in your frame. <laughs> 